What is this? The integration processing plant. Those you see here are in the very midst of integrating with Scorpion. Please don't tell me they will all be centralists. If the principles of Scorpion are existent, the choice to be a centralist or not will be left up to each individual. Therefore, it is impossible to determine whether those in the midst of integration will be friend or foe. Yeah, great. Look at the scale of this operation. So, uh, is this particular integration plant special or something? Or are all of them this big? Out of all the many plants, this one boasts the largest Cybermind integration capabilities. Cybermind integration? Cyber int <laughs> gives me the creeps. Though standard integration, like my own, requires the consent of the organic life form. It will still be joining in a subordinate role to the core cybernetic life form. This is the main reason why integration with Scorpion is often perceived as invasion. The wills of both the organic life form and Scorpion persist in a state of coexistence. The cybernetic and organic life forms merge anatomically and become dependent upon the body for self-subjectivity. The integrated being can then connect the electrical signals of its own brain directly to the network. This is in contrast to cybermind integration, in which the organic life form is the core and subjectivity is not dependent on the body. Subjectivity is not dependent on the body? So it would be similar to me diving into cyberspace and inserting my own identity program into a computer I had hacked. Similar, but not the same. In the situation you describe, the subjective data you produce is being linked to a limited body located in the physical world. The subjectivity of an individual post-Cybermine integration exists within Scorpion Network. It connects and merges with the entire network while maintaining its subjectivity and sense of self. The only situation where an individual requires a physical body is when it wishes to interact with the material world. By its very nature, Cybermine integration incites new evolution within the network. But would that not require the brain functions of the organic life form to be converted in their entirety? There is no cause for concern. Even standard integration like that of JJ can be said to apply a certain level of cybermind integration in the way it allows connection to the network. Conducting cybermind integration generally requires that the individual have already undergone standard integration. As such, the progression to a complete and full state of digitalization is not an overly taxing procedure for the individual. <sighs> I can't follow any of this at all. What is this, this digitalization, really? Mm, how can I explain this? It's sort of like turning the inside of your mind into a machine and replicating your soul there, I guess. I'm not sure how it works either. Th that's... But why go so far? From our perspective, that person would no longer be human. But the soul remains the same. And by retaining that sense of self within Scorpion Network, only then can one say they have achieved Cybermind integration. Uh, what would Captain Bennett want with a place that's capable of all this? Well, it looks like we'll just have to go ask the Astoria crew directly, won't we? Yes. <laughs>